Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you can see by the title, I had been single for 12 years. What? Yes, that's a very long time. But I'm going to explain to you the real reason why I decided to be single for this long. But before we do, just make sure you like, share, subscribe. And also you have all your post notifications on. Every time I drop a video, y'all be notified. And also leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about this video. All right, guys. So it's been almost 12 years that I decided to stay single and not look for a relationship. Not that I didn't want to, but the experience that I had been through with the two last relationships that I had. Mind y'all, I did a video in, a month ago about how I found out my ex-husband cheated on me with my neighbor. And I also stated in there how my son's father also cheated on me. So if y'all have not watched that video yet, I will put the link in the bio and make sure y'all watch that video to fully understand where I'm coming from. Now, the last um, relationship I had was with my daughter's father. Um, she actually is going to be 12 in April. Now, I decided to be single because it was a lot of um, stuff that I had went through with the previous relationship. And nowadays, the way it is um, for you to go out and look for a significant other it's kind of hard it's not the way it was back in the days that you can go and get to know this person see i always wanted to find someone that i can spend the rest of my life with something similar you know like my mom and my dad have been together for almost 42 years and then my sister and her husband have been together for 22 years and i always wanted to find that special someone that i can spend the rest of my life with but the way it is nowadays it's kind of hard to even do that what didn't even trust the person. And besides, I have three kids. I have a 17-year-old son. I have a 14-year-old daughter and my daughter that's going to be 11. And it's kind of hard for me to even try to come out my shell to, you know, to start dating because I'm at that point. It's like, okay, I had dated twice and both of them of the relationship have failed. I'm not going to try and put myself out there again to wind up having a failed relationship. And I also got to think about too, on who's going to be coming around my kids because that's one thing it's hard for me to even try to go on a date and stuff like that because nowadays it's kind of hard to trust anybody around your kids besides my media family that i had that been helping me out with my kids from day one and every time that i do try to um you know try to hold dating scenes something always got to pop up like you can go and change the channel and the news is that a man had did something to his girlfriend's kids or the girlfriend did something to her man. It's like vice versa. And it's like every time I see that, I say, okay, wait, let me step back because there's a lot of craziness going on in this world. And I'm not trying to bring none of that around me or also around my kids because that enough, I had to deal with the situation with my kid's father. And I don't feel like going through all that. But don't get me wrong, I do have some guys that do come up and you know they be asking me out and stuff like that or wanted to get to know me but then I just get this you know feeling like nah I don't really want to go out or get to know about and get to know nobody and stuff like that maybe it's because of me being so comfortable from where I'm at that I don't have to answer to nobody or I can just be at home at peace and just be around my kids but sometimes I get that you know feelings like okay well let me give this a try. I don't know. It's something different going on with me. Like one minute I do want to go back on the dating scene and then the next day I don't want to. But, you know, that's how it is sometimes. I've been through a lot. I've been hurt so many times by some of these guys. And it's kind of hard for me to open up and trust anybody again. I'm not trying to say that it's going to be years that I'm not going to be in a relationship. But right now it's just like I'm focusing on getting my self together and also focusing on taking care of my kids and their well-being and make sure everything is a good with them and stuff like that but hopefully down the line i'm not trying to be on no freaking um how you say that those little tender apps to look for somebody i'm just gonna leave it all in god's hand and whatever's meant to be is meant to be if somebody just come and wants to get to know me. But in the meantime, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy my single life. And if it decides to, you know, come to the point that, you know, somebody wants to get to know me and stuff like that, I probably would give it a try or probably not. I don't know. It's just like I'm just scared to get hurt again. I'm scared to get into that 
point that, okay, I opened up and then next thing you know, I end up, you know, taking two steps back because I wind up getting hurt in my feelings because I don't like having my heart broken so many times. It's not fun at all. But, you know, for the meantime, it's just going to be me and my kids. And hopefully one day when the time is right, God will bring me someone that's going to truly care about me and love me for who I am and not do what the other ones did. Um, play with my emotion and cheated on me. But hey, guys, this is my story of how I've been single for 12 years. All right, guys, so leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about this video. And I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye. Thank you.